We should yeah. do a listen along to Gene DiNapoli's yeah. podcast. Oh, we should. <laughs> I think it's only on Facebook Live. <laughs> I don't think you figured out how to how to push it to like various podcasting uh, apps. Fuck, that's, that's awesome. awesome, Gene DiNapoli. I think we can figure it out. I think he's pretty active on Facebook. Is he? I think that's his platform. Damn, I forgot how good he looks. He looks great. He's an actor and producer. Know him for almost Elvis, The King and I, all these Elvis movies. The King and I. Yeah. That's awesome. It's about Elvis. <laughs> oh, it's not the oh, it's not the musical. The one with the Chinese prince. Where Yule uh-huh. Brenner plays uh, the king of Siam. Yeah. Where is Siam? Oh, he's in Vietnam. He's, he's in a lot of movies. He's in something called Pumpkin Hole that's coming out this year. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> if I ever need an Elvis impersonator, I'm. Calling Gene DiNapoli. And bully the Rico story, the mongoose, conjuring the devil. <laughs> conjuring the devil? Yeah, he plays Detective Swanson. Oh, Swanson. He said he was going to be on Sopranos, right? He was close? I don't think he said that. Well, I guess not. I think he just dreamed that. Oh, this is his website, Mr. <coughs> Entertainment. <laughs> Come so yeah, this movie Conjuring the Devil that uses the same font as The Conjuring. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, dude. There's so many. There's this movie. I don't remember what it is on HBO Max, but it's just same font as Casino, mm-hmm. and it's just like an off-brand winner of the. They all looked exactly the same, but they're just shittier versions of them. winner of the 2016 Rhode Island Elvis competition. <laughs> wow, I was just winner there. of the 2016 Dewey Beach Non-Pro Division Elvis Festival. Non-Pro Division. <laughs> <laughs> the Dewey Beach. <laughs> wow, look at his shirt, dude. This shirt rocks, actually. Yeah, he's in this movie called uh, Wait, <laughs> called Bronx Paradise. I mean, you scroll down to the cast, it says top cast. Shalin Argawal is deli worker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he has an interview with Kelly Clarkson. Oh, that's awesome. How much time we got Dude, left? I'm on buying this a one? shirt right we're, now. We're, you got to look at this shirt. We're done, actually. We're done. So let's just. And, and we're back. And we're back. Sorry. And we're back. Part one will be available on Sunday, folks. Uncle Stephanie. You'll see how we got here. But for now, what you need to know is we're doing a Gene DiNapoli deep dive. We're doing this. <laughs> uh, playing the, we're getting into the guy we talked to four years ago. The last time we remember being happy. So just go to Patreon.com if you want to hear part one in four days. <laughs> so anyway, you were saying Adam is a Kelly it's, Clarkson interview. I'm, I'm buying really his feel like the pandemic. Right I, I thought it would be, the pandemic really just destroyed everyone's life. Mm-hmm. Eight, yes. It, Except honestly, some fucking businesses got hilarious loans for no reason, yeah. and they just never have to pay them back. Yeah. I I wish that there was a way to select a size of t-shirt. <laughs> There's no way to select size. No, it's, it's one just size this fits one all. shirt that says "Reminiscing with Gene Tanapoli <laughs> Podcast." <laughs> Dude, whatever Wait, size it is, t-shirt. buy it. Look at this t-shirt. It rocks. That's incredible. That I'm going to buy it before this, the goddamn audience finds out about it because they're all going to buy this. Yeah, buy two. Give me and one. it just has a list of their first 15 guests. <laughs> Dude, please buy me one, too. Kingpin Cast, Stan Zizka, Anthony, <laughs> Le- <laughs> Anthony Liguori, Louis Ver- uh, Vanaria, Tito Puente Jr. Tito Puente Jr. That's a big get. Christina awesome. Fontanelli, yeah. <laughs> Joey D, Vito Picone, Billy Vera, Lou Martini, Tony Darrow, Ron Dante. Great names, honestly. Aaron Caruso, Larry Chance, and Jimmy Clanton. <clears throat> Jimmy Clanton? They got big Jimmy C? They got Jimmy C. Um, can you buy me one as well? I'm buying two. But there's no guarantee of what size we're going to be getting. <laughs> if you it's can. got a review, actually, on it. It's from Frank Savasco. It says, really sharp-looking shirt, five stars. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love this man. Frank motherfucking Savasco. All right, let's go to the cart. Let's check out. Now, so really, at no point are you allowed to pick size. No, there's no size options, but I am buying two. So, you know. Good. 
<clears throat> and speaking of shirts, guys. Tonight, Rigoletto's on Arthur Ave in the Bronx. APM Gene will be doing a variety of music to sing and dance to. Mm. We should go to that. Tonight? I can't. I can't mm. swing it. It was a year ago. <laughs> it was a year ago. Fuck. That's fucking... That sucks. Can we call him? No, come on, let the man live. Mm-hmm, yeah. What he want, he he's been hitting me up for years. To come <laughs> back on the show. Well, can we just play his Kelly Clarkson interview? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm I'm uh. What doesn't kill you makes your dick hard. This is my favorite picture of him. Awesome, that's a boss right there. Just me, myself, and some pussy. <laughs> yes. He's the fucking king. Dude. Wait, do we have the... <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Oh, man. What doesn't kill you makes you yeah, dick. Yeah, it seems huh? like his website doesn't work. What doesn't suck you makes right, you dick. All right, I'm going to try to buy this later. <laughs> it's not working right now? All right, let's... I'm going to just search Gene DiNapoli t-shirt, just regular. Oh, it's fuck. just a t-shirt with the first 15 <laughs> guests listed. Adam, pull right. up the fucking... I'm pulling it up. Wait, do we have the plug, or am I going to do it old school, straight into the I think the we have the plug. Yeah. Nick, you want to plug that in? Plug what? The aux. Where is it? It's right there. It's behind the board. What doesn't suck you <coughs> makes your penis. What doesn't suck you <laughs> makes your penis. <laughs> Makes you penis? No, makes your penis. What well, doesn't suck you makes you penis. Sucking on my penis when I'm alone. You have it, Nick? He's headphones. Yeah, I got it. I guess Elvis was kind of fat. Autograph. Yeah, he was, dude. Famously so. Autograph. But he wasn't, like, huge. He was just, like, this is as fat as he got. That's not... Yeah, but he wasn't, you know... Look at that. That's not, like... Yeah, but for a guy who was never fat before, who who in fact spent most of his life as a piece of ass, who made whores fucking tremble just because he would shake his hips a little uh. bit. <clears throat> Damn. I'm a fucking... How much pussy did Elvis get? Off the charts, I'm right? getting pussy. But back then, they didn't have fucking... I mean, do they have condoms? When did they make condoms? <laughs> <laughs> Like hundreds of years ago, <laughs> yeah, but they were fucking. You would you would put your dick in like a sheep's gallbladder. It was or before AIDS, so no one used condoms until the. Well, 80s. that's what I'm saying. Did he impregnate until a, bunch a certain of group of people ruined it for the rest <laughs> of us? And I'm not going to say who. It is funny that the gay people caught the L on that when it that's was so when it originally it was a uh, a guy that fucks monkeys. Fucks monkeys, I know. Yeah. He's just like, can you believe what these fucking homos are <laughs> spread around? Bernie, well, for a special reason, explain why you wanted to hear this, Gene. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Uh, what? Thanks for doing my favorite Elvis song. I gotta tell you, it was wonderful. <laughs> and I got to do that song with Elvis's original drummer and his original singers back at one of my shows in 1995. Oh, and yeah. It's a memory I'll never forget, Kelly. <laughs> also, I got my own burning love with my beautiful wife, Paulette, yep. for 23 years, and wow. we got engaged after only eight dates. What? Wow. Were you yeah. on that show, married at first sight? Like, what? Like, what? That's, a, that's, how did you know? That's eight days. You're putting on your best self. <laughs> well, you know what? We went out for eight nights straight, and I went for so much money on the dates, I figured I should marry her. And it would be cheap. <laughs> Very I've nice. always heard people say that's cheaper to keep her. It's awesome. Um, anyway, well, thank you so much, Gene. That's awesome. It's so about 23 years. What an accomplishment. That's such a beautiful thing, man. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thanks for doing my favorite song. You knocked it out of the park. And as Elvis Presley would have said to you, thank you very much. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Remember when you refused to say suck me? What was it? Suck me, suck me very much. <laughs> suck me, suck me very much. <laughs> yeah, suck me. No, it wasn't. Thank you, thank you very suck. Or suck, suck me, me very, very dick. Penis. Suck me, yeah, I suck me, suck me, me very dick. I think it was <laughs> suck me, suck me very dick. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I can't say 
<laughs> it's disrespectful to Elvis. It's <laughs> it's disrespectful disrespectful to, the king. to the memory of a great man. Yeah, I can't say that. Okay, so here's this podcast. It's on YouTube. Let's fucking fire one up. <laughs> Let's fire one up. This one. <laughs> Let's fucking fire one up, man. What doesn't kill you makes your dick hard. Get your penis stiff now. Okay. So it's got a 30 Hi, this is countdown. Gene DiNapoli. Just want to let you know that your comments tonight might be shown on screen. <laughs> Don't drop any N bombs. <laughs> This music's awesome. It's pretty badass. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, another another theme song. Another good this one. This is a dude. slideshow with the Gene DiNapoli story. <laughs> pictures of him. Entertainment. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, him and Connie Francis. Him and who? Connie Francis, Dick Clark, Winona Judd. That's awesome. He's the, he knows everyone. Tony Orlando, wow. Much higher than that. Much better podcast than ours. Wow, look at this slideshow. Buster Poindexter, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Danny Aiello. Wow, that's a fucking G right there. Don K. Reed. Very U.S. Bonds, I don't know who that is. Vinny Pastore. Wow, Ronnie Spector. Ladies and gentlemen, Gene DiNapoli. Yes. Woo! Yeah. You can fuck my bitch. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Reminiscing with Gene DiNapoli. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, our guest tonight uh, cannot make it. Duke Fagir from the Four Tops is under the weather. Oh, no. Uh, so we decided to maybe start the year off with him. We're very sad about that. But I wanted to come on air to talk to you for a few minutes. Uh, we're going to do a short show. Okay. And just tell people... Uh, what you mean to us. When Fuck I say yeah, us, dude. I mean myself, my producer, Anthony. Anthony. Uh, <laughs> everybody that watches the show. Hi, everybody. What's up, Gene? Uh, we're going to revamp the intro for the new year. We have some guests we already signed up. Uh, we're going to try to do some comments <laughs> and some contests. We have some ideas. We're going to work on them the next couple of weeks. But... Um, <laughs> wanted to say uh, to everybody, hope you had a good Thanksgiving. You know, you'll, be, you'll be hilarious. For those of you that know- if like after like 30 seconds of this, he's like, why don't we just check out Scumbag Vinny's podcast? <laughs> <laughs> and then, he, then it's just him listening. Yeah, to- <laughs> yeah that, w- that would actually be so sick. <laughs> <laughs> and then Vinny's like, let's just listen to Come Town. And then, <laughs> and then we're just listening to an episode that, from nine years ago. That would ago. be awesome. We yeah. should just start doing that. We should. We should tell Gene to do it. And then from, yep. we'll just have a little like Matryushka doll of, mm-hmm. of old podcasts. I just want to let it ride a little longer. You might notice I don't have glasses on because last week I went... I found out. I'm annoyed. So I got one eye done from Dr. Pisacano. (laughs) Dr. Pissed Off Cano. (laughs) Pisacano. Dr. Pisacano. Yeah, Dr. Pista Lupancio. You got one eye done. Mr. Pistis Pancio did my eye surgery. (laughs) Colors are so vibrant. (laughs) <laughs> it's it's like seeing a whole new world. And when I get the other eye done in a few weeks, I, I can't wait to see. Uh, but he only got one, he only got LASIK in one so eye. Yeah, yeah, about, I guess so. And if Pisacano surgery, doesn't doesn't I highly risk recommend Doctor Pisacano. <laughs> uh, right now, I want to bring my producer Anthony back on screen. Let's Anthony, get Tony can you join in the mix. Us, hey, Gene, how are you? Wait, hey, he's like eleven. So. Uh, yeah. You know, He's got a Christmas tree uh, in the background. I want to thank you publicly once again. Thank uh, you. For all the hard work you do. Uh, <laughs> you asked me to get you everything by Thursday. 
Uh, ten minutes before Monday's showtime, I'm still emailing. This is unreal. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Schedule, you're a uh, student. You have great shows on your own channel. And I want people to know. Uh, I Can I see? Can you. I see what Anthony you're looks total like? Total professional. Thank Hell you. Hell yeah. And I hope to continue this relationship for a long time. Coming. So <laughs> everybody out there, this is give awesome, our dude. producer, Andy Griffo, a big round of applause. Anthony. <laughs> You must Thank you very much. <clears throat> now get off stage. <laughs> That's right. Get the fuck out. Um, we've got a couple of shows I want to tell you about that are coming up this week. <laughs> I went back in the promoting field, and uh, we had some great shows last week. We had Tito Puente Jr. up in Poughkeepsie. Hell yeah. And we had a disco dance party in Yonkers with a freestyle singer named Cynthia. Hi, everybody. This week, we have uh, three shows which we're promoting. Thank you, Margaret. Good to see you all. Oh, nice. We got the tape. First show is on Sunday, December 12th. Anthony, put the flyer up. I'm Anthony, producing a new Anthony, put the flyer up. Put the fucking fly up, Anthony. It's going to be at the Royal Meet 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 <laughs> I put together two great oldies acts, the Bel Airs and Still in Style. We have two types of tickets. A Two types ticket, of tickets. Which is sixty-five dollars, oh, no. and nah. that includes a what free course do? dinner and tax and tip, or a twenty-five dollars show ticket. But you must purchase two drinks in addition to that. All right. So it'll be twenty-five to see the show, and then ten dollars a drink. You buy two drink tickets. They'll be dancing. I'll get up and sing a few songs. I think it's going to be a great way. To start off the holiday season. I agree. Do up style. The next day at the White Plains Performing Arts Center, I am presenting one of the best Broadway (laughs) singers out there with one of the best comedians out there. Oh shit. For the Italian Broadway Christmas show, Monday, (laughs) December 13th. We got Italian cats. (laughs) We got Italian kinky boots. (laughs) (laughs) We're doing the Italian Christmas story. (laughs) He gets visited by one of the the ghosts of Chris the Christmas family. (laughs) It's a great show. Anthony just sang on the Columbus Day Parade in New York City. Regina is working all over the country. I was so glad we were able to get Oh, I think together. I know Regina. Tickets the can Sessio? be purchased. Yeah, by yeah, yeah. she's w- funny. www.wppac.com. Rina or de, by Rina calling 914 328 1600. Oh, yeah? That's mm-hmm. www.wppac.com. In what way? Oh, we were both on a comedy There's show. Oh, okay. I, I thought you were talking about <laughs> sex. Indoors. I thought you were talking about so sex work. No. Sex oh, work. yeah. We did some we sex work together, too. And not we worked wet. together. Then on Wednesday, <laughs> December 15th, I'm presenting a variation of that show in Ridgefield, Connecticut. This is awesome. It's the Ridgefield same show, Playhouse. slightly more Italian. Italian we're doing Italian it even Broadway. more Italian. This show is called the Italian Broadway Christmas mm-hmm. Show. Once again, the I Italian love that, Broadway dude. Christmas Show <laughs> with Anthony Nunziata as our star. Nunziata. Kevin Martini, who uh, works Comedy Central, um, the, 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 the Daily Show. We've got Christian we'll Finnegan and Andrew and Cuomo. Cuomo. <laughs> that wasn't enough. We have a Tony award-winning vocalist, Debbie Gravite. Oh, yeah. Me, depending on where you mm-hmm. uh, are from. Debbie Gravite will be performing solo and with Anthony. And those tickets can be got by going to Ridgefield Playhouse. Oh, I've been to the Ridgefield uh, Playhouse. Everything's on the website. G- That's a nice Apple. little venue. Dude, G- I, re- I really would just love to uh, move to, like, central Massachusetts to just work at a little community theater. <laughs> yeah. Book comedians I knew 20 years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, Fly absolutely. Him. I'm bringing yeah, Tommy Simbazo yeah, Bill, to the Ridgefield to Playhouse. Yeah, I just got a so little garden. Try to be busy. <laughs> I don't do shit. Uh, Going to do more. Got a lot of plans in the new year. <laughs> Hopefully you're with us on this journey. <laughs> Uh, please follow the page uh, Reminiscing with Gene DiNapoli Because when we post a new show or we go live You will get a notification If you follow the page And all I'm going to ask you to do For the next couple of weeks Is maybe share the page To your friends and family uh, We're going to expand our guest list That's what we're doing We're trying to get the word out Is it still going on Adam? 
Or was this, this the December most recent episode? episode. <laughs> um, we're we're pretty December much 2021. Went, so they might be taking a little sabbatical, but they'll be back any day now. Many of my friends and many friends have gotten me people like Joe Marioni, Paul Arante, and many more. Uh, <laughs> so 99% of this is just and, uh, ridiculous <laughs> Italian names. Italian <laughs> names. You know that. Vincenzo <laughs> Del Nuncio. Or famous. Send them my way. Maybe we'll put them on the Reminiscing with Gene Gannapoli show. You know what? For one time, the last time of 2021, we're going to give you our sponsors who have been so gracious <laughs> to, 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 to the course of this show. He's nine money, minutes camera, of 15 minutes in. Money he's still doing producer, announcements. Course money it's flyers. 15 minutes. Yeah. Right now, once again, ladies and gentlemen, our sponsors. Hi, this is Francisco. Many people call me the creative CPA. If you need <laughs> help with your taxes or financial matters, this is so fucking email sick. Email me your cell number and the best time and day to call you. This is going from underwater. Yeah, right. It's just she left a voicemail for. <laughs> For, for ad read, they threw a little like <laughs> the music. On yeah, there. she's the creative CPA. So most some people call her the creative CPA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's keep it rolling, Adam. We got Francis Cisco at AOL.com, <laughs> and Cisco is spelled S-I-S. Wait, 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 wait. Her, her website is trained. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> why is it that? Why is it why that? Is it that? <laughs> what's her, what's her <laughs> website? Trans Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> dot com. Maybe she's trans. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, she is the creative CPA. Oh, the creative CPA. <laughs> it's that simple, that easy. Thank you. I guess I guess it's like a, this. it's an Italian person that's trans. Mm, and, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Look that's at, what I think so. Yeah, and so they're like, yeah, I'll just that's my website. I'm Trans Francisco. Trans. You know, they all have Italian. They're like, you know, it would be like Franny the Trans. Of course, but those probably take. There is a Twitter at Trans Francisco. Is it CPA themed? But it's not CPA themed. Mm -hmm. No, it's just things. <sighs> Can trans we things to do in San Francisco? I don't know exactly. Craving a cruise? Perhaps a gorgeous, all-inclusive resort. Magnificent destination weddings and stunning, unforgettable honeymoons. Dream Destinations Travel. He's really they selling ads on this. Franchisee has all your travel and vacation ideas covered with great deals, extensive knowledge, and totally yeah, flexible she's trans. plans. Oh, she is. Upcoming events. Uh, the Art of Being Trans, a discussion led by Charlotte Mookin, executive director. So she's also the creative CPA? Yeah, that's awesome. So this, yeah, so this is a, a performer trying to get on the Napoli circuit, who bought advertising to, to curry <laughs> favor with Gene. <laughs> yeah, no. So the CPA thing is a day job. She also, she does, she performs. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, she performs as as Trans Francisco. It's like an island. He's uh, awesome, yeah. Just kiss Oh, all right. That sounds good. Diet smoke dot. Oh, hold on, Adam. We'll finish the rest of Gene's show after the diet well, we smoke. We gotta get to the rest of the show. Family or friends is our specialty. Yeah, whatever. It's never charge our. You know what I kind of don't like? Now, trans no Francisco kind of stole my name. My idea for a trans name. What was it again? Carmen San Francisco. Yeah. Right. Well, I, th I think she like transitioned and had the Her name. Her name for was a while. Francisco. I, probably. No, you were just kind of saying it. You haven't <laughs> taken any hormones. <laughs> I what? So I got to take hormones. You got to yeah, take yeah, hormones. She did the work. Is it, okay, so we're gonna apply that she to the all work. copyright law. That if Disney wants to take a hold of Mickey Mouse, they better get their dicks cut off. Yeah. Yep. Why do you think Walt Disney chopped his head off? Mm -hmm. They can put on any kind of body he wants now. If you yeah. cut your dick off, you're legally allowed to sing the happy birthday song <laughs> without paying the royalty. Edible honeymoons. Dream Destinations Travels, a cruise planner franchisee, has all your travel and vacation ideas covered. 
great deals, extensive knowledge, and totally Guys, pleasurable Guys, it's been a tough plans. time for the travel we agent travel the industry. Now, your friends is our specialty. Never a charge to our clients and always free, no, no obligation quotes. Check our website at sundrenchcruises.com or give us a call at the number above. Ooh, funky. It is funky. <clears throat> Little Lately Auto Repair at 628 Crescent <laughs> Avenue in the it's just Little Gene reading it. Bronx. Over 50 years of automated service excellence, ASC, <laughs> just a and state of certified. <laughs> or from all types of services. Yeah, map of Italy, and is that the Irish, Irish flag? And it's all these, like, all the fucking cars. Yeah, it's like Ford Toyota, Ford, 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 it's the, the highest level of quality possible. You cannot get better or quality. Or visit his than website this. at www.littleitalyautobronx.web. Yeah. Yeah. I love that we went to Gene's podcast to waste Auto time, Repair. and it's hours of him wasting time. <laughs> LittleItalyBronxAuto.com. <laughs> what an awesome name. Thank you all to our sponsors. I really appreciate your friendship. <laughs> Those three people that sponsor us, all my friends. We wish them much success in the new year. <laughs> I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Um, we're be it's funny because you flyers. were talking about like like <laughs> like pastors bullshitting, and that's yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. it's the same vibe. He hasn't said one, which you know is awesome because we haven't said anything. He's brought Thanksgiving up four times, <laughs> but I I respect this because I think he's just starting to wind down now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, are, there are four minutes left in the pod. Let's see how they go. I can't Even wait. Donna, who's doing a toy drive? So if you join. Gene DiNapoli presents or reminiscing with Gene DiNapoli, you'll see the flyer. And when is he going to reminisce? Have any <laughs> he has reminisced once. Cash that you want to donate? Please do. Because Christmas is all about the kids. Happy Hanukkah to our Jewish friends out there. <laughs> that. Do you feel good the about that, Adam? Thank you. Children shouldn't suffer. So if you children donate, shouldn't the children suffer. shouldn't suffer. That's wonderful. right. Um, I meant to say something. What do I need to say? <laughs> See, when I don't have things written down, I'm, it's just off the top of my head. Uh, next year, we're going to have a bunch of shows going on. We have a doo-wop show February 11th at the White Prince Performing Arts Center. He's plugging we fucking in Collins February. Canadian. We have a bunch of stuff coming in. You already you plugged all this stuff. Check out yeah, the page. This is the second time. Presents. Uh, this Friday, I'll be at San Martino with my Elvis Christmas show. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis Hits. As well as some of the best club <laughs> Christmas songs that Elvis ever did. And then uh, you'll be there New Year's Eve as well. So if you want to celebrate with me, it's all plugs. That's check out awesome, dude. Page I love this. Com. This is my favorite podcast. I want to thank you all. I don't want to take up I too much time. I can't believe I didn't go to the Elvis you Christmas born, show. You fucked up. But uh, I just wanted to wish everybody a very. I'm like. This Happy year, I might get into heroin season. and go into every <laughs> Gene event. Yeah, absolutely. I'm about to be a Gene super fan. Existed because of the virus. This year's getting a little better. So uh, I want to just remind you once again about our shows this week. On December 12th, we have a doo-wop dinner. <laughs> just want to remind you again. So he's, what he reminisces on is the plugs from the beginning of the show. <laughs> from before the he's actual three three ads on this. <laughs> Your tickets or call 917 Dude, he's the king. He's a fucking On Monday, December 13th, we have the Italian Broadway Christmas show. Starring <laughs> Anthony Nunziata and Regina Cicchito at the White Plains Performing Arts Center. That's when you put up the other flyer. This is so you. sick, dude. You I get love your tickets at www.wppac.com. Oh, and on Wednesday, December 15th, a variation of the Italian Broadway Christmas show with Anthony Nunziata, <laughs> Kevin Bartini, and Debbie Gravite will be at the Ridgefield Playhouse. Go to ridgefieldplayhouse.org to get your tickets. Both of our Italian Broadway Christmas shows are going to be virtual toy drives for the Maria Ferrara Children's Hospital. So what you do is you come to the show. Even the hospitals are Italian. You pay for it. You don't have to bring a toy. This is awesome. A virtual toy drive. And on that note, I'm going to say goodnight to you for the final time in 2021. You've made my show very enjoyable, everybody. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to continue to do it. <laughs> That's right, Robin. Why can't every day be like Christmas? A great Elvis song, which I'm going to sing Friday. And everybody should treat every day like it's Christmas, and maybe the world will be a better place. 
We'll see you in 2022. Keep an eye out for who's our first guest. Until then, may God bless you and keep you in the palm of his hand. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and God bless America. Mm. That's good stuff. This is classy music. Okay, what is that? Grillo Entertainment. That's great. So yeah, what what other? So that was awesome. Have- <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, again, the Italian Broadway Christmas show. It'll be a variation on that with Andrew, <laughs> and, and, and Anthony Nunziato, and Kevin Bartini. <laughs> it's a it. variation on the Italian. On the other one that we were doing, <laughs> White Plains, the one in Ridgefield will be a variation. Of course, the original Italian Broadway Christmas show at the White Plains bus station. <laughs> It'll be a variation. <laughs> I want to kiss him on the lips. Mm. I actually want him to be my father. Does Gene have children? That's a great question. Hi, this is Gene DiNapoli. <laughs> Just want to let you know that your comments tonight might be shown on screen. <laughs> Run another one. Run one back. Who's he got? Who's he got? Has he got a this guest today? Guess. Sweetheart of freestyle music. That's awesome. Freestyle is great. Let's get to the interview, Adam. Wow, that's a really... Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Episode 57. I can't wow. believe you. He's put the work in. Have we got a curveball of a show for you tonight? Oh, I love We're gonna tell you about it right after our sponsors. <laughs> Hi, this is Francisco. Thank you for calling the Creative PTA. If you need help with your taxes or financial matters, please email me your cell number and the best time and day to call you. You can email me at francisco at aol.com. And Cisco is spelled S-I-S-C-O, the creative CPA. It's that simple, that easy. (laughs) Thank you. Creating a cruise, perhaps a gorgeous all-inclusive resort. Magnificent destination (laughs) weddings and stunning, unforgettable homes. Dream (laughs) destination (laughs) travel. (laughs) Cruise planner, franchisee. Cruise industry is under assault. It is under assault. Great deals, extensive knowledge. Have you gone to cruises? Check our website. With the highest level of quality possible. Telephone number is 718 933 2365 or visit his website at www.littleitalyautobronx.webs.com. <laughs> webs.com. Yes, <laughs> on, uh, but here, she's here tonight. But a I want to say ball uh, of a happy anniversary to my beautiful wife. On Saturday, we That's spent cute. the weekend Beautiful. in Atlantic City Hell celebrating yeah. 23 years wow. of wedding bliss. That's awesome. And Good in for 23 him. years, ladies and gentlemen, we have never had a fight that I won. Okay? So uh-huh. crazy. <laughs> the man is a, a fucking natural. He's Mr. Entertainment. For an organization called the East Coast Music Hall of Fame. <laughs> We're going to talk Coast about Music that on Hall Monday show. Because uh, I got some great pictures. Uh, I gambled. I made a donation. Shit happens. What are you going to do? Okay? So, next week, we're going to tell you our guest on Monday is the son of legendary 70s singer Peter Lemongello, Peter Lemongello Jr., who carved out his own career because he's going to be opening up for the four tops. Peter <laughs> Lemongello Jr. It's like fucking, man. The Simpsons when Homer comes in, he goes, oh, my friend Joey Jojo Jr. Shabbat. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, Peter Lemoncello Jr. You know, it's Lemon Jello. Lemon Jello. Yeah, That's Peter, awesome. Peter Lemon Jello Jr. We got a lot to talk about. So that'll be uh, 7 o'clock Monday. He's the king of plugs. <laughs> Peter Lemon Jello. Uh, this <laughs> week, I got back into promoting shows, ladies and gentlemen. That's awesome, uh, This Gene. week on Saturday, we have two great shows. <laughs> one is locally to us and one is far away. 
Before we get to that, happy birthday to my niece, Gina. If I didn't say that, she would move out. And Lord knows we don't want her to move out yet. You know, six she months. It's been going on three and a half years. So love you, Gina. Happy birthday. We're so proud of you. Uh, Saturday night in Poughkeepsie, New York, I will be presenting... Let's Pico listen to Peter Lemangelo for a second. Live from Asbury Park, New Jersey. Two WAP generations. This look is up. the essence of doo-wop generations. Authentic original member J.T. Carter is singing with Peter Lemangelo Jr. on an infomercial. Please welcome J.T. Carter's best. Oh, apparently he was on uh, American Idol. Wow. I don't think he made it past. Pretty good. Peter auditioned in New York. He sang I Can't Help Myself by the Four Tops. Although Katie voted yes, Lionel and Luke voted no, eliminating oh, him fuck. from the competition. Katy Perry voted for him, though? Meet Litter Robot. The revolution. No, we will not be meeting the Litter Robot <laughs> YouTube. Mention in entertainment. He couldn't get a label interested in him, so he came up with the idea to market his own albums. He bought commercial spots and went on like a hundred times a week. Peter Lemon Jello. He's credited with inventing the infomercial. Wow. Honestly, these are kind of bangers. You gotta sing to a bitch. This is crazy. So this guy's dad is just some guy that bought commercial space and made infomercials of himself as a singer. <laughs> yeah. Invented the infomercial, but his passion is singing, and now his son is following in his footsteps yep. wow. as a doo-wop singer. That's kind of beautiful. That is fucking beautiful. Now let's hear a little Do I Love You. This is Peter Lemangelo. This is Jr. Peter Lemangelo Sr., yeah. who has 106 monthly listens on Spotify. The shadow of the doubt. Damn. I mean, the dad's kind of sexy, to be honest with you. He's a hot piece. He's a piece of ass. Get that pussy primed. As the metal I like his... With the wind he only has that one album. About as deep as deep can go From the canyons to the sky yeah, it was fire. I gotta get to the hook. For the baby she Do I love you? Do you Do I love you? Must I show? This is a great song. It's really good. Let's get those Spotify plays up. Here, pause this for a second. So this guy yeah. just basically this guy basically just did the CIA's job for them. Oh, <laughs> what they do? What, what they do? do? He goes in a profile for the New York Times. Oh, this is a basically, what he did. His, his career wasn't really working out. Yeah, Le- Peter Lemangelo Sr. Peter Lemangelo Sr. <laughs> so he produced his own album and then just bought a bunch of space advertising. Yeah, yeah. And it, sales took off. But in a profile for the New York Times, he stated, look, what this country needs is a white male superstar. <laughs> <laughs> That's his pitch. <laughs> yeah. What this country needs is a white male superstar they can hang their hat on. They want him clean, and they want him now. And that's why I'm playing it this way. I can be what they want. That's so funny. An acquaintance true. and fan named Bob Pascuzzi bankrolled a promotional. And I guarantee you Bob Pascuzzi works for the CIA. <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Bankroll, the promotional rollout meant to generate interest from financial backers that would result in a deal of an album and concerts. The Westbury Music Fair was rented for one show and an album assembled with one side recorded in the studio, the other consisting of remixes of his tapes. One concert promoter conceded the show had sold out at 2,800 tickets but wondered whether Lemangelo could repeat his success in cities with fewer Italians <laughs> and where he had not advertised as heavily. So he, did he ever go on tour? No, he just did that show. It was just that one show. <laughs> And then the next section on Wikipedia is home construction. Lomangelo <laughs> later worked as a housing contractor in New York. <laughs> Hell yeah. In the early <laughs> 1980s, Peter was accused of masterminding two acts of arson on two luxury houses. <laughs> <laughs> this construction. This, so this guy's son. On January 15, 1982, Lemangelo and his brother, bowler Mike Lemangelo, were kidnapped from a construction site. He's a professional bowler? Yeah, his Mike, brother? Mike was forced to withdraw more than 50000 from a bank and both were, both were left in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> the mafia got Lemangelo's for yeah. sure. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, man. So his son's trying to make his way so into anyway, the show. So anyway, Gene, Gene wanted us to know that his son has carved out his own niche. Yeah. He's not relying on his father's incredible success. <laughs> <laughs> now, can we get to the interview? I'd love to hear Gene interview whoever the it is. Queen of Freestyle. Junior. Live in concert tonight in Poughkeepsie, New York. I will be presenting Tito Puente Jr. And a lot live of juniors. In concert, yeah. A Latin salsa mambo night. As you know, Tito Puente, for those of you that were living on Mars, was the king of Latin. Just think music. if if, Grammys, if Ronan Farrow had been raised by his birth galore, father, his right? Son, he would just be on, be on he'd he'd just be on <laughs> Gene's show. He'd be doing right? shows in White Plains Dutchess, with Gene. Hudson Valley area. We are performing Tito Puente and DJ Lewis almost. Let's take a real 32, quick break, right quick, to talk Adam, about Level Adam Break Adam, to talk to about Ridge Waller. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Lemangelo's favorite wallet. I had to the take Ridge off. Wallet. I had to take off all my clothes recently in front of a nurse, and she, I pulled my Ridge Wallet out, and she said. Oh, my husband has one of those. And I go, what, a tiny little cock? Yeah. Ooh. A pink little penis? And she goes, excuse me? Yeah. You trying to suck this, you like, freak? No, I was just trying to lighten the mood, you know? Of course. And, uh, you know, she's like, that's fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Like, you Sir, you have cancer? Yeah. I was like, you know what? Fuck all these kids in this hospital. Fuck these kids. Fuck fuck these, fuck and I'm you. pissed off you guys put me in the in the hospital based on my cock size. Yeah. <laughs> Why you, you made me see a pediatrician. <laughs> yeah. I'm a grown man, even though I have a four year old's penis. I came here to get my dick sucked for cancer. <laughs> and this is the disrespect you give me. I'm here on a, I'm here on charity. I'm just saying there's gotta be down, at least I'm from here from Mitch and Murray. I'm here from downtown. <laughs> There's got to be at least one of these kids that listens to Come Town. It's yeah. his make a wish to watch me get my dick sucked by a up, nurse. I came up here dressed as a just in clown makeup on the face. <laughs> and I thought maybe you'd have the rest. Uh, of anything else with him? Let's go back to this real quick. Okay. Um, brought to you by Ridge Wallet. <laughs> I'm also Peter. Also Peter. Peter Jr. and Senior. Yes. What style of musician and singer were you? It's called Mood Rock. Almost disco. And you look like a throwback look to you. Is that the way you sing? Yeah. Well, I sing a lot of the early rock and roll songs in the 50s and 60s. It's like the hair has a 50s and 60s gel. Dick Peter Jr. fucked a lot of old bitches. Now he's kind of stepping aside and retiring and he's passing it on to me. You gotta keep the Lemangelo tradition alive. His dad Ooh. had a deep voice. He's kind of got a high, higher voice. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Give us your name, who you are, and where you're from. Uh, my name is Peter Lemangelo Jr. Lemangelo. Ah, yes. very good. I'm 19 years old from Boca Raton, Florida. Now, your father's pretty famous. I... Yeah, Not really. my dad was the first singer to sell over a million albums on television in 1976. Wow. So what are you going to do for us? Um, I'm going to do I Can't Help Myself by The Four Tops. Really? That's oh, my friend. Please. Huh? That's why I'm friends with the Four Tops. Of <laughs> Bragging. On One of the most Friday Italian Atlantic moves City. possible. Really? Letting them know. In Atlantic City? These are my yeah. friends, How the Four Tops. 19. Wait a minute. It says 19. You're an old soul. Okay. All right. So let's let's hear this. Okay. Thank you. Fire I'm fucking gay. Oh, okay. Let's go. Oh, this song? Yeah. I can't help but. Oh, oh. This song sucks. Sugar pie, honey, bunch. He stinks. <laughs> 
<laughs> this fucking guy sucks, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> he missed a spin. He did the spin. He did the spin. <laughs> And Lionel Richie's coming in his pants. Yeah, right? oh but he gave God, him a no. Said, no. Fuck Lionel. Lionel's a snake for that one. He's fucking horrible, dude. <laughs> I think he's good. I think he's got something. <laughs> He sounds scared. I mean, he's, he's auditioning for American Eye. I'm I think it's like it, uh, the way autism pretend, presents in the Italian community. Mm. You know, he's like, yeah, my, my father was uh, kidnapped by the CIA. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, they pretended it was baseball players that kidnapped him. <laughs> but, you know, basically it was this failed, uh, you know, like... Uh, Kind of co intel pro uh, <laughs> white supremacist Italian American white supremacist movement from the seventies, right around the time of the church committee. And because there was all this scrutiny, they kind of just left him hanging out to dry, and he went fucking insane. And had to do the only other thing Italians can do, which is arson, yeah, which, is, which is burning up a construction site for money. And uh, you know, as a result of that, I was uh, never diagnosed. With, <laughs> With any kind of like Norway typical behavior, so <laughs> here I am now, basically t- <laughs> looking for a handout. That's awesome. yeah. yeah, I'm friends with the four tops. Yeah, <laughs> these are my friends. <laughs> They're my friends. Oh, now he's feeling himself. By the way, you just left those guys. Yeah. Those are the exact routines. I'm telling you, <laughs> exact. Do you live this lifestyle? <laughs> yeah, pretty yes, much. Yeah, yes, pretty much. What year car do you drive? Well, I'm saving up to buy a uh, 1959. I was gonna uh, say you're This kid fucking right sucks, there, dude. Man. This How poor kid hasn't been, been able to, hasn't been allowed to develop a personality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I was uh, I was actually molested by, <laughs> yeah. by all, all four Pe- of the Toms. by Joe Pesci. <laughs> I uh, yeah. I share a bed I with my mother and father. Showed, <laughs> I showed up and they said you're here for Tom. <laughs> 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 they made me suck them all. <laughs> he sounds like the gay old man from Family Guy. He does, guy. the child molester <laughs> from yeah, Family yeah, Guy. Yeah. There's that muscly arm newspaper boy. <laughs> Same voice. Man. I just man. always loved uh, that music. That's- what, a kind of, what a gay answer to that question. What kind of call do you drive? <laughs> I'm saving up for 1950. Uh, let's Incredible. See and um, through my dad, he'd take me to a lot of the shows. I get to meet a lot of the wow. guys, a lot of, you know, become friends with guys like Lloyd Price and Chubby Checker. Lloyd Price. He's my dad's era, man. This is, <laughs> are you kidding me? This is amazing. Luke, I, I'd love to get your impression. Well, I mean, okay. I think it's just about polishing up your voice, getting a little stronger vocally. Yeah. Maybe you need to put a little spin on it to keep people's mm. attention. There's something in there called business for you. He but I so don't sad. think it's going to fly for what we're looking for in American Idol. Let's take a vote. Go uh, I'll go first. Great meeting you, uh, but it's a no for me. Peter Limoncello. <laughs> Limoncello. 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 I'm going to roll the dice. Why not? It's a yes. Wow. Luca, give us. Well. Peter Limoncello, Junior. Yeah. Anyway, Peter Vaginella. So should we go back to let's the get Gene let's get to the has. Gene Pod? Yeah, um, that was a nice little Ticket detour. Prices, but I need meet and greets, <laughs> whole bunch of stuff. If you have any questions? <laughs> just uh, <laughs> let us know, and we'll talk to tell you about it. But what I'm doing, which is really close to the home, and I wish I didn't schedule them both at the same time because I really want to be in Yonkers at the Royal Regency Hotel. We did a comedy show there. We did a, a live music event. And I wanted to do a disco freestyle night. <laughs> so the only night we had open was Thanksgiving Saturday. Now, I don't know about you people, but Wednesday night, but night before Thanksgiving, used to be the biggest party night of the year. Yeah. Because the next day was a holiday and everybody had off. But by Saturday, I got sick and tired of being with my family. Yes, sir. So that was the second best night. 
So I decided to throw this disco freestyle on Friday on Saturday, November 27th, starting at eight o'clock with DJs Vinnie Campisi and <laughs> DJ Stefano. <laughs> and I DJ said, okay, Stefano. I got to get a live artist. <laughs> so I did my work and I just kept coming back to this one song, one song, one song. I said, all right, I said, let me take a shot. Let me see if this young lady is even going to be in the area. Well, luckily for me, she's going to be in the area performing at another show earlier in Staten Island. That's a theater <laughs> show. What we're presenting is a dance night. And I don't know how you could go to a night of freestyle music and not dance. And we're going to talk about that night. We're going to talk about her past, <laughs> present, her future, which not only has to deal with music, but he's honestly a great else, broadcaster. Real sharp. And, He's and better than we us. wish you the best of Without luck. Question, so ladies dude. and gentlemen, will you please welcome as our guest tonight, singer, songwriter, live artist extraordinaire, freestyle sweetheart, and soon to be your EKG technician. Let's give it up for Cynthia, ladies and gentlemen. Cynthia. Hey, everyone. How are oh, you? Doing? Fire. Fire. How are you? Well, great. Introduction. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. High. And She's by high. the way, happy anniversary. Thank you very much. Did you hear I said 23 <laughs> years without a fight? Without a fight. I know that you had one. Won. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he had to get back How in. How are you? I'm good. You know, listen, I'm in the boogie down. Uh, you're in the boogie south. Uh, you're yes. up here. It, it seems you're up here more than your home. I know. Tell me about it. And I ask myself this question. I say to myself all the time, like, why do I even bother selling my home, you know, up north when I'm there constantly, literally every weekend? But, hey, <laughs> I may have to start looking for a second home there. You might She's have hot. to. You know, I can't, my you internet won't work. I'm trying to look her up. I don't care you how good, wherever you move is. Cynthia. Oh, York hell yeah. You. Indeed. Uh, you're, a, you're a Spanish Harlem girl. That's right. Uh, that's right. 22nd, 2nd Avenue. That's oh, a haunted. That's a haunted. Uh, do, do you take that Spanish Harlem attitude on stage? Because I've been watching <laughs> some of your videos and your live videos. Oh, um, you're getting the f- you live have a Facebook lot of comments. You what are they saying? The lady I noticed that said a happy anniversary Maybe to you. Maybe because I'm a performer. <laughs> I Tommy her Smooth Sincone said she is girl, still a doll. This God woman, bless this her. This lady is not, she's not in outer space. You are so focused. Mm. Uh, I am. I, you know what it is? I connect myself, you know, with the audience. You know, I'm very passionate about what I do. Ooh. I love freestyle music yeah, she as can a still genre. And I'm not just because I, I sing it, but I just I love it. Oh, guys. Not only this Tune in next show, week. Maybe we'll find.